Life is full of unexpected surprises. Yep, nobody knows what's just around the corner and literally anything could happen at any time. Over the course of history, we've discovered a whole bunch of mysterious things hidden in the last place you'd ever expect, leading to a whole lot more questions than answers. From medieval kings buried underneath parking lots to a whole graveyard in the desert. These are the 15 strangest things found in the middle of nowhere. And then suddenly you look and, and you look and you see that they're tiny Greek characters engraved into the actual metal it's Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. Python invasion. This is what happens when you interfere with nature. Now the Burmese python definitely doesn't belong in the wild habitat of the United States, but it looks like it's here to stay. This killer snake is originally from Southeast Asia, but the python is now surviving and thriving in the scorching hot climate of Florida. These scary snakes have practically destroyed the delicate ecosystem of the Everglades swamps and marshes, and they're now dominating an enormous one and a half million acres of land, hunting almost all animals in their path, including alligators. But what is this Asian reptile doing all the way over on the east coast of America? It's thought that the aftermath of a devastating hurricane in 1992 caused a significant amount of Burmese pythons to escape from a breeding facility in the region, introducing the deadly foreign species into the wild. Not only did the lethal hurricane Andrew play a part in the Burmese python boom, but exotic pet owners who set their pets free when they became too big to handle are thought to have also contributed to this catastrophic invasion. Yes, the python is breeding like crazy, leading to an invasion of 20 feet snakes in the state. Could it get any worse? <laughs> Prada store in the middle of the desert. Imagine driving through a desolate desert with no buildings, no houses, and no people, only to see a tiny luxury boutique as you speed by. That's exactly what you'll find if you drive down the US Route 90 in West Texas, 60 kilometers northwest of the city of Marfa. Yep, this abandoned strip is home to the world's most remote designer goods store, the Prada Marfa. From the outside of the white adobe building, you can peer through the glass and window shop for thousands of dollars worth of purses and shoes. However, this Prada store has an unexpected twist. There's no working doors to enter through and no staff for tills. The shoes are all right-footed and the bags have no bottom. <laughs> well, that's pretty useless, right? But this mysterious store has an unusual secret. In fact, it's not a store at all, but a permanent art installation by Scandinavian artist Michael Elmgreen and Ingar Dragset. This so-called sculpture is meant to symbolize that without us, the customers, consumerism, and capitalism will one day fade away only to be forgotten. The owner of Prada surprisingly allowed the artist to use the brand's logo, and she even selected the fashion items from 2005's Fall Winter Collection to go on display. As you can imagine, the art installation was broken into just mere days after it first opened, but after some reinforcements, the sculpture slash store remains a popular tourist attraction in Texas. Now the Elm Green and Drag Set built Prada Marfa from biodegradable materials so it would slowly fade and rot over time. The Texas Department of Transportation has actually classified the store as illegal outdoor advertising and the store is at risk of being shut down. Yep, we hope this fake product gets to live out its destiny in the desert for a long time to come. <laughs> the Miracle Lake. From designer shoes in the desert to something even more valuable in this dry, barren landscape. Water. When shepherds stumbled across Lac de Gafsa, they must have thought it was a mirage. But no, this miracle lake in the middle of the Tunisian desert is totally real, despite the fact that it appeared out of nowhere practically overnight. The glorious oasis spans across approximately 100,000 square feet and is a staggering 30 to 60 feet deep. But where on earth did this awesome lake come from in the middle of the drought-stricken desert in Gafsa? Well, these people thought that the lake could have been built of a rainwater in the canyon that borders the lake, but it would have taken a whole lot of rain to fill up a lake that size, so experts reckon that seismic activity may have disturbed rock above the local water table, causing water to rush to the surface. So perhaps this luscious lake was simply a natural occurrence. However, for the crowds of people that traveled to the newly found Gafsa Beach, this swimming hole in the scorching heat really made a miracle. Yet this awesome lake became the hottest new beach in town, and for the first few days of the refreshing water, it was turquoise and crystal clear. However, after a few days, the standing water became more and more murky and filled with algae. The Office of Public Safety even stated that the lake may be carcinogenic. Yikes! 
This stunning body of water may be dangerous to swim in, but we still think that a lake appearing in the middle of nowhere in the desert is pretty awesome. <laughs> the first ever computer. The world's first computer wasn't to be found in a scientific lab or an electronics factory, but actually in the most unbelievable of places. Yep, this mystical machine known as the Antikythera Mechanism was found in a shipwreck in the Aegean Sea way back in 1900. But it wasn't until 75 years later that experts discovered what the ancient computer was capable of. This analog computer was designed to the ancient Greeks to predict astronomical events using a series of dials and gears that were inscribed with zodiac symbols and Egyptian calendar dates. This 2,000-year-old computer was accurate within one degree of planetary movements, and we still don't know exactly what the Antikythera mechanism is capable of. To this day, its secrets remain hidden within the cogs and cranks. <laughs> Siberian Snowballs in the middle of a beach in Siberia, a strange natural phenomenon got everyone talking. These crazy snowballs had appeared out of nowhere, shocking all the locals in Nida, a village of the Yamal Peninsula. This unusual beach located just above the Arctic Circle became the home of thousands of perfectly spherical snowballs ranging in size from a couple of inches to nearly three feet across. Villagers were absolutely baffled when they stumbled across these massive frozen orbs and told reporters that they had never seen anything like this before in their hometown. So where did the Siberian snowballs come from? Well, they first popped up in October when the slush frozen water rose, coating the shore in a layer of ice. As the tides went out, the waves and the winds rolled the ice along the beach, forming the strange ice balls in all shapes and sizes. They look so magnificent that it's almost a shame that they should eventually melt. Maybe one day, under the right conditions, these spectacular Siberian snowballs will return once more. <laughs> Georgian church is the most unimaginable place. Surrounded by quiet Georgian mountains, this towering natural pillar is virtually inaccessible. As legend goes, the first person to live up here was a monk trying to avoid all worldly temptations. A tiny collection of religious buildings are perched on the top of this 130-foot-high limestone monolith, and it's a good 20-minute hike from the nearest village. Yep, this might just be one of the strangest things found in the middle of nowhere. The awe-inspiring structure can only be reached by a thin metal ladder bolted into the rock face, and there is an ingenious winch system that allows villagers or the ground to send food up to the top of the pillar to save back-breaking journeys for supplies. So what exactly is at the peak of this peculiar pillar? Well, perched on the top of this spinely stone column, there is a tiny Orthodox church, burial chamber, a wine cellar, and three hermit cells. Oh, and a crypt filled with the bones of monks who lived there in bygone eras, of course. Would you dare make the perilous trip up the Katshiki pillar? <laughs> Great Armadillo Found in Argentina While a farmer was out doing his rounds in the Argentine capital of Buenos Aires, he made an amazing discovery. At first glance, he thought that he'd stumbled across an ancient dinosaur egg, but the real truth was even more exciting. Yep, he'd found not one, not two, but four giant glyptodonts, a prehistoric mammal that existed during the Pleistocene era over 20,000 years ago. These armored creatures were related to the modern-day armadillo and would have weighed a whopping 1,000 kilograms. Hidden under dust and dirt in a dry riverbed, these awesome specimens were all facing the same direction when they died, suggesting they were migrating somewhere together when disaster struck. Imagine finding a prehistoric animal that became extinct 10,000 years ago while you were out running errands. Who knows what you might find? <laughs> Bosnian Sphere Deep in the woods of Bosnia and Herzegovina, there lies a huge stone that has put one small village on the map. This mysterious ball is a simply shocking 10.8 feet in diameter and weighs almost 35 tons, making it twice as heavy as equally puzzling Costa Rican stone spheres. So how did this puzzling orb come into exist in the woods of southeastern Europe? It's something that's baffling scientists all across the world. One archaeologist, who affectionately is known as the Bosnian Indiana Jones, reckons that this human the longest sphere of stone was constructed by hand by an ancient civilization that lived in the area over 1,000 years ago, with technology more advanced than we could ever have imagined. If it was in fact created by humans, then the Bosnian sphere could be the biggest man-made stone sphere ever discovered. However, some scientists are more than skeptical that this strange stone ball in the forest is actually proof of a lost civilization. And they're more inclined to believe this spherical rock is actually a result of a well-known geological occurrence called concretion. Concretions are also rich in iron, which would explain the red tinge to the Bosnian sphere. So what do you guys think? 
Is this ominous orb thousands of years old, or is it in fact millions of years in the making? Let us know down in the comments. <laughs> If you drive across the endless salt flats of the Atacama Desert of Chile, you might just be in for a big surprise. Surrounded by a barren wasteland, an absolutely enormous stone hand reaches out of the sand, as if to try and reach for someone to help pull them out of the ground. This 36-foot high sculpture is known as Mano de Desierto, or the Hand of the Desert, and was created by the Chilean artist Mario Irarazabal. Even the closest town of Antofagasta is 75 kilometers away, it still attracts thousands of tourists every year, and who can blame them for making the long road trip out into the desert? This work of art is totally stunning. Built in the early 1980s, this structure blends perfectly into the sandy landscape and is built on a surface of iron and cement, ensuring it will survive the harsh terrain and last for many more years. Fort Boyard in the middle of the sea, this insane fortification has seen it all. It's hard to believe that this austere-looking French fort has gone from being a defensive building during King Louis XIV's reign to operating as a military prison in the early 20th century, to finally begin a filming location for a hit 90s game show. Yup, Fort Boyard certainly has a rich history. It took nearly 60 years to build this iconic building as the changing tides made laying the stone foundations of the fort nearly impossible. When it was finally unveiled in all its glory, it became clear that times had moved on and weapons had advanced, making it a pretty useless fortress. Who knew that it would one day find fame in the form of a glitzy showbiz career? Fort Boyard was an adventure game show that would challenge contestants to various tasks of endurance for a chance to win cash prizes. In fact, the only way to get a peek inside the fort is to be the contestant on the show to visit the island fortress, as it is not legally open to the public. Hey, you never know. You might just win some money, too. Denmark's Underwater Waterfall the world's largest waterfall is in the last place you would expect it to be. There's no way to view this epic natural world and no opportunities to take a selfie in front of the flowing cascade of water. That's because this gigantic waterfall lies deep beneath the Denmark Strait, separating Iceland and Greenland. This waterfall is a whopping 11,500 feet, whereas the largest waterfall on land is 3,212 feet. It's hard to imagine, right? Well, if you've never heard of an underwater waterfall, you're not the only one. This strange phenomenon happens when cold water meets warm water, and in this case, the chilly water flowing south meets the warmer water from the Erminger Sea. The cold, dense water sinks below the warm water and spills over a drop at the bottom of the ocean, with an estimated downward flow of over 123 million cubic feet per second. Fly Geyser this strange rock formation is located on private land in Nevada's remote Black Rock Desert, about a third of a mile from State Route 34. Yup, this geyser is officially in the middle of nowhere. The geyser blasts out streams of boiling hot water that jet about five feet high and is entirely geothermically heated. But this is not an entirely natural formation, and it was actually created as a man-made well that was drilled in the early 1900s. Over time, countless eruptions have dissolved minerals around the chute, giving it an almost alien appearance. And it only gets weirder. A colony of thermophilic algae that thrive in the extreme heat has given the fly geyser an outrageous red and green sheen. Perhaps it's the fly geyser's psychedelic exterior that inspired the Burning Man project, famous for their Anything Goes Festival, to purchase this 3,800-acre ranch for $6.5 million, opening it up to nature walks and tours to the public. Hmm, could this be the site of the world's hottest new festival? In a literal sense, of course. Hmm. <laughs> King Richard III's grave. What's the craziest thing you've ever found in a parking lot? Maybe a couple of dollars left behind? Or some garbage that's been tossed from someone's car, perhaps? Well, in this parking lot in Leicester, England, an awesome discovery was made, one that has now been hailed as one of the most important historical finds in British history. Yep, researchers and archaeologists from the University of Lancaster couldn't believe their eyes when they found the skeleton of a member of the royal family. Richard III had one of the shortest reigns of any British monarch, sitting on the throne for just two years, between 14 1483 to 1485, but that doesn't mean that he wasn't a legendary king. Often described as a bloodthirsty tyrant, Richard III was the last king of England to die in battle, and he also passed many laws that still exist today, including the concept of bail. Evidence also shows that he enjoyed the finer things in life, living off of a luxurious diet of wine, swan, crane, and heron. Whoa, so what was this majestic monarch doing in a parking lot? 
Chapel, the modern building used to be the site of a church called Grey Friars, which was home to the 13th century monks. It was here that historians suspected he was buried after being killed from two blows to the head in the Battle of Bosworth, before the church was demolished during the reign of King Henry VIII. Since finding the grave of the iconic king, experts were able to learn more about Richard, including the fact that he's related to British actor Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah, they are actually third cousins 16 times removed. Who knew? <laughs> Elephant at Sea when a Sri Lankan Navy ship was patrolling the country's northeastern coast, they made a startling discovery. The last thing that you would expect to find 15 kilometers from the shore is an enormous elephant, but that's exactly what they spotted through their binoculars. As soon as they spied the giant creature struggling in the waves, they set about rescuing the bewildered elephant in a mission that lasted for 12 whole hours. Wildlife experts reckon that this huge animal was swept out into the ocean as it tried to cross the Kokilai Lagoon, a body of water in between the two sections of Sri Lankan jungle. While elephants are considered to be the best swimmers out of all the mammals, with the exception of humans, salt water can damage their skin, and the amount of energy it takes for this gigantic animal to swim can quickly exhaust a fully grown elephant. So when the Navy found the poor soul, the tired elephant was nearly totally submerged and was using its trunk as a makeshift snorkel in an attempt to survive. Luckily, they suited up in scuba gear and grabbed the ropes, which they tied across the elephant in order to pull it back to safety. We can only imagine that they needed to call for backup in this unusual mission. Thankfully, the elephant, which they nicknamed Jumbo, was returned to land safe and well. <laughs> we love a happy ending. Well Graveyard in the Desert Looks like a giant hand reaching out of the sand isn't the only strange thing to be found in Chile's Atacama Desert. This astonishing whale graveyard was originally preserved more than 5 million years ago, when a toxic algal bloom poisoned more than 40 whales among other ancient creatures. The prehistoric animals were all face downwards in the same direction, indicating it was just this one cause that wiped them out. And this mass graveyard doesn't contain the skeletons of just one catastrophic event, but rather four completely separate events that happened over thousands of years. This graveyard gets creepier and creepier. These perfectly intact skeletons were discovered near Cerro Bolana in Chile, which translates to Whale Hill, and the amazing specimens have been described as a rare snapshot of ancient marine ecosystems along the coast of South America. Not only did archaeologists find baleen whale bones, but also sperm whales and ancient walrus whale, fish, seals, and even aquatic sloths. Incredible, right? Our minds are officially blown. Can you imagine finding any of these strange things in the middle of nowhere? There's a whole world out there to explore, and we've got a feeling we've only just scratched the surface. So which one of these wacky wonders was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit the subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.